because the Scottish Panic Centre have bought a whole load of thatch that we have grown and harvested from the Tay Reed beds. They were just getting around to putting it in all the buildings for their new visitor centre. I never usually get to see where it ends up. I just kind of see it in the reed bed, see it in loads of bales, and then it disappears off on a lorry. So yeah, so it's really exciting to see what it actually looks like, the finished product. So the RSPB has been involved only since 2005, but it was harvested commercially since the 70s. So when the RSPB um, took over some of the management of the reed beds. We, we changed the management, so we wanted it to be more ecologically beneficial, but we really wanted to retain the cultural heritage aspect. So, so we've kind of created more of a mosaic in some areas, but other areas have been retained to cut for thatch. But actually, it's really important for us that the, the reed and the thatch can generate an income which helps support the rest of our work. So, so it's all quite interlinked and, and the management itself, whether it's for thatch or otherwise, has massive benefits for wildlife. So this structure we're building is actually Iron Age, so we're looking at a 2,000 year old technology. Essentially the underlying structure of this is a bit like a Native American teepee, sort of a wigwam of poles. We then have a horizontal series of much finer timbers and they run horizontally so basically a series of like contour lines actually just like contour lines on a map all the way around this building and it's upon those that we are lying the thatch we're then tying these laths so round it comes back up again holds the lath so that's how that's a simple way of describing how this is done the tay reed firstly the tay reed stuff's top quality um, but in a sense, even more important than that um, is that uh, it's local. We have this thing in thatching that's very much gone out of fashion, but it's called the 500 yard rule. And the idea is that in the Highlands of Scotland, you should be able to build a house with materials that you've gathered within 500 yards. At the moment, we've only got one supply for this material in the whole of Scotland, which is the tay reed. When it's appropriate, I want to use it as local as possible because it, the, the economics make sense. I'm putting money into a local company that's producing this material that they put into other things. It all goes around in a circle. Otherwise, basically, we're exporting money. What we really want to support is, um, you know, we're the only place in Scotland that cuts thatch commercially so so we kind of want to hold on to that and and really make the most of it but it's really important that we can supply these areas in Scotland you know the the, the properties the visitor whatever it may be they need the the thatch and we can supply it locally so they don't have to buy it in from Turkey and they don't have to buy it in from China and, and you know really um, you know we want it to kind of everything to be bought and and managed at a much more local level if you have a property and you are looking to buy thatch, then don't look, don't look abroad. You know we are producing it here in Scotland. You know on the River Tay, it's sustainable, it's local, um, and ultimately, if you buy it from us, you'll be helping conservation.